Welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. So today I want to be checking out, by going to the workshop, your guys' stuff. These are going to be some pretty interesting and challenging maps as well as some pretty cool secrets. So we're going to sort by high subscribers this week because this past week was when the update happened. So if we go by the most subscribed, like look at this, we have a Breaking Bad one with like custom units. We have Surviving Godzilla. We have a How to Kill a Super Peasant. Hold on, I, I got to see that. A zombie invasion? This one's called nearly, nearly impossible. Hmm. Definitely gonna be fighting off Godzilla. And Breaking Bad sounds amazing too. So just to get us started. So I think first off, we're probably all very curious on how to kill the super peasant. And some people have spent a lot of time and a lot of experimentation on actually figuring that out. So here we have the super peasant. And there's a ton of the guys with the very, very long sticks. It's called a lance, hello. Called a lance. Hello. So if we just started out, Super Peasant immediately breaks out. You're telling me that this is gonna work? Oh my god. What was that explosion? Was that Thor getting wrecked? Does Thor have a new ability which creates a giant vortex of rocks or something from the explosion with the ground? I, I'm at a loss to see exactly how this is supposed to kill the Super Peasant because it sure looks like the Super Peasant has broken out and as a result in our like five frames per second due to the number of units and their very long sticks which definitely populate this area. There's just no way that that works. So what? There's a bunch of Thors. Are there, uh, Wait a minute. Is that Thor's new ability? Summoning in lightning bolts? There's just chain lightning that's going on. I can't tell if they're hitting him or not because, to be quite frank, oh my god, I now realize there are like a million Thors. I think the idea was that the pikemen stop him and then he just gets chain lightninged into oblivion. I'm gonna let this battle play out. Now I'm gonna let it finish, but I'm kind of curious if we restart it, if we'll have a different result because that's the beautiful thing about a physics-based battle simulator like Totally Act Battle Simulator. Oh, hold on. Who's shooting Yoink. off the side there? <laughs> So many dead pikemen. Oh, there he is. Yeah, the, the super peasant can fly and he'll seek after the nearest unit. So I feel like in order for him to fall off the map, it's got to be very difficult. And I, I think we can, I think we can call this one as it is. All right. Yeah. So lots of Thors. I think the pikes have to like stop him. Wow, 270 units. Okay, but he immediately breaks out and they called it how to kill the super peasant. This is, this is not true. That is an inaccurate statement, but if someone's done it, I would be curious and would love to see it. I'm kind of curious though, what if we take out um, some of the pikes and put in lassos? Oh, you can't do that. It, you just play the battle. You don't have... I can't place any more units. I don't have the currency to do so. Interesting. Well, this map is called Nearly Impossible, but I get one million? How much... See, the, the one issue, though, is I don't know how many units the enemy has. So I can, put, I can produce anything I want, right? Well, then I feel like... Oh, I can't get... Oh, I can't get a Dark Peasant or Super Peasant. I can get a Super Boxer, but I don't know if that's going to help us for secret. Like, can I put them anywhere? Like, I can put a giant here to hold them off, right? I mean, when I have this much money, what I need to do is blow everything off of that. Like, if I can create a big enough explosion, right? Do we do bomb throwers? This is gonna break my FPS so badly. But yeah, that, that's, that's my plan here, is to cause enough disruption, maybe, to hopefully knock off a bunch of these units. And like, since I don't have to put them in the circle here, what's the strongest unit in the game? I mean, it's gotta be the ice giant, right? We're, but how do I place them? I'm gonna need as many as I can get, but our placement is very limited. You know what we could do? Let's go to Legacy and bring in a bunch of super boxers. I mean, they, they should be able to survive long enough, right? Maybe they'll they'll get some knockout blows. Oh man, some of these maps were not designed for stability. All right. We'll have an inner ring here because my idea was to have some really strong units protecting our good old Artemis as hopefully some damage dealing. And Reapers cause explosions when they die. So maybe actually that's what we should have put instead of these bombardier guys, the little pirate bombers, is a lot of these. We'll, we'll create these giant black holes when we die if I can summon them in. I, I'm actually worried that this is going to melt my computer. We have to do it in slow motion. So can we beat... Nearly impossible? I wouldn't say it's the impossible level. It's just the nearly impossible level. And with ice giants being able to use their icy breath, I mean, look at how many units 
are just falling off of the map. I'd say that our strategy of trying to knock as many units as possible off is working. Where are these giant cannonballs coming from? Is that, wait, is that Blackbeard's new ability? I think Blackbeard has a new ability called Cannon Barrage or something like that. You can see the Artemis arrows like all over the place. <laughs> This is absolute chaos. Uh, there's so many of my super boxers flying off. Like, I see, like, six right there alone. That's That doesn't bode well for us. Probably because they're getting knocked off by the tree giants and the ice giants. All right, you ready? You ready to see frame rates melting? If I release slow motion, this is what happens. All right, I, I don't know. I think we're going to win, though. We have more units on the battlefield than them at this point, which is actually pretty impressive considering how everything started. So the key here is since we can put any any units anywhere, what we need to do is you need to put the Reaper, the spooky faction's boss, because he explodes and creates black hole, and then, here we'll see. I mean, super boxers have such a powerful punch that like, the there's an Ulra that's being absolutely launched off the map. All right, well, I think these are some lessons that we're gonna be able to take in with us. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on with that? You got hit by an ice giant's breath? Who's left alive? Victory! <laughs> Nearly impossible, huh? Well, we've done it, so now I want to see if we can't survive Godzilla. Wait, survive Godzilla for 180 seconds? Where- where are you, Godzilla? You know what? This is the weird part. I think what you have to do is go to the workshop and we'll browse units. Godzilla! Godzilla! Which Godzilla do you think it is? Well, if we go to- Okay, so it's hit 47N, right? But when you load the battle, you don't have that Godzilla unit. I think you have to download it. So it's hit 47N. And I am not seeing one by him. So I guess we'll just download a few of them. Kaiju. And we need a monster's face for this faction. I mean, <laughs> it's gotta be that. That is perfect for Kaiju. Now, that's where a Steam Workshop would really come into play. Wink, 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 nudge, nudge, say no more. Is this the Godzilla or is that the Godzilla? We have to survive for 180. 80 seconds, huh? I'm gonna try to spear him with some tribal men. Kill Godzilla! We must survive! But yeah, in, in Steam Workshop, you're gonna be able to download the level, you're gonna be able to download any units that you need for it. Okay, Godzilla, you, you kind of just, you're not even really trying, are you? Okay, now you are. Now you're wrecking humanity's chances to defeat the mightiest kaiju in all of history. Totally accurate history, naturally. Oh, and you've got an ice breath? You need a fire breath, big dog. There should be fire breath for the little uh, fire-spitting dragon of the dynasty faction. So we weren't able to defeat... Well, we can bring in some modern faction. Let's bring in some modern crossbows. Ooh, some snipers? Definitely some snipers. All right, some Barrett 50 caliber sniper rifles here. Look at these things. These things are firing out 50 caliber... Are those fire? Oh, those are from the crossbowmen. Okay, look at this. Take down that kaiju! He, he can't even walk straight. Wow, these guys are have some significantly fast fire rate for those 50 cal snipers. Oh, look, and they've got they got that scary face. The ghost face. I, I don't know, man. We're going to need some more firepower. So let's go. We have Gordon Freeman. Yeah, we're going to lead this force with Gordon Freeman. And I think Wolverine and the Juggernaut. Okay, so the modern faction actually also includes some X-Men. Wait, is that the Juggernaut? He's carrying two Thompsons. And he's got a guy on his back with a bazooka. <laughs> This is amazing. Take down Godzilla. Come on, guys. Oh, man. The, the, these, the snipers need to increase their weight. Or wouldn't it be cool if, like, you could make a unit have to lie down before you shot? There's a lot of things that would be very, very cool to be seen that could be changed within the uh, unit creating update. But I'd have to say that, like, we used to have to mod in units. Oh, wow. Look at Wolverine, by the way. Check that out. Yeah, that haircut's perfect. But we have to, we used to have to mod in all of these units, and now we just get them. Hold the phone. What is happening to Godzilla? Godzilla, what were you doing? He's like handstanding. Uh, I don't know what that's all about. And how much health do you have? I, I mean, I, I understand that you're like one of the oldest monsters in existence. <laughs> He's actually invincible. Okay, so I guess we could survive for 180 seconds, but could we kill him? It doesn't look like it. Unless. All right, we'll bring in some super peasants and some super boxers. And the idea is hopefully... The super peasants knock him off the map. And they're just punching him over and over and over again. Yeah, so I, I think we can now answer what would happen if Superman had to fight Godzilla. Well, all he had to do was drown him. But are they going to drown him or are going to pick him up? <gasps> yes! We've defeated Godzilla. We just had to use the most OP unit in the game. So now we have Breaking Bad and then the zombie invasion, which I'm pretty excited to try out. But KZB Games made it, right? Go to the custom content. We'll browse here and we'll do KZB. Because he's got to have the Breaking Bad faction. There's the battle. What about units? 
Breaking Bad. There it is. Okay. So we download this, right? Then we go to campaign and we sort through the mods. I really need to delete some. And now we go in here. So here's the Breaking Bad faction. We got Jesse Pinkman, Dean Norris, and say his name, Walter White. Walter White's got some dynamite and a Glock. And then you've got a Deagle and you've got yourself a Glock too. I gotta say, this is pretty cool. Now that's what, $2,430. So you know the drill. Normally we would test it on this many or an equal value of, of footmen here. <laughs> okay. Well, it looks like Dean's got a little bit of some Rambo jeans and Walter White is, I don't know. Oh, I like how Jesse throws some chemical gas. I guess, man, all of that, that crystally blue stuff is uh, not good for your health here in more ways than one. Look at Dean. So I guess the other two were taken down. Now it's just Dean, Dean, just Dean. Stop running in and headbutting them. Shoot them. Oh, he just, it looked like he farted and shoved them all away. Okay, well, uh, what you got here, big dog? Wait, how come you're the most powerful? How come Dean is the most powerful? Like, he was the detective, right? And he's still lost. Okay. Well, if we look for the most subscribed, we see some of the ones that we have played recently. I'm actually kind of curious to see John Wick. I wonder if this Thanos is as good as our modded version. Oh my goodness, someone made a speeder bike? Oh, <laughs> this we have to see. I think one of the other things we'd like to see is some custom battle ideas. Remember when we used to do, you guys would leave comments of like the custom battles and we would see them in future videos? That would be pretty fun to bring back, as well as challenges. Challenges were one of my favorite things. Granted, nowadays you can simply create a challenge called Baron Challenge and put it up and then I could be like, I could just search content and be like, Baron and see what happens. Can you beat Santa Baron? Okay, let's try it. Waterloo line battle? Oh my God, look at these. Impossible even for Baron? Well, now I've got to see about that. But Santa requires a special unit. There's something up with that. I think this is going to be patched. But I can see how amazing these speeder bikes are. Oh, they're just like witches, aren't they? I'm pretty sure these things are, oh, are they hovering units that are just faster? How did, what is that, a fish? It's a fish. It's some kind of a weird fish. Reminds me of a Magikarp or a koi fish with the little tentacles <laughs> that they're flying on. Is that, okay, it's a mounted unit that uh, has a fish costume that's painted all one color <laughs> and they have the hover ability. I think that's how it's going right now. And then the speeder guys look very good. These definitely look like scout troopers right here. And they even have the little like Luger looking pistols, but <laughs> okay, well, uh, one John Wick versus 16 speeder bikes. Johnny Boy Wicks, how do you do today? Do you, do you think you got it in you? Oh, he's got the dodge ability and he almost... Wait, I think we could try something here. All right, if we put John Wick here, they're gonna run in. Will he dodge? Oh, man! It worked, although some of them were able to find their way back onto solid ground here. Wait, I think John Wick just jumped off a cliff. John? John, are you down there? Oh, never mind, you're over here. Oh, thank goodness. See, there's gotta be, what, a John Wick 4, you know? I mean, there has to be. Don't you love this? Battle simulators. Total aggro ones. I'm gonna hold it behind my back, but on the wrong side, and then I'm gonna try to shoot people. And John, John, just stay on the map, Johnny boy, please. But you know what's interesting? There wasn't any campaign that came out with Christmas. We got a new map, and every time we get a new map, and a new faction, we've gotten a new campaign. But this one, we this time we didn't. I feel like using all of the existing units, someone could create a battle that would play out that way. So like, we filter by most subscribers this week. Most of these, uh, I've been having an issue getting them to work unless they use default units. I'm pretty sure this is using modded zombies. So I don't think we're gonna get that. So unless the battles use the default units, we're not gonna be able to have them in the game as far as I'm aware. Revenge of the secret units. Can I beat the Greek? I think we can. See, this should be able to be something that I can play because it doesn't have the user created, or rather the user created units. Although whenever I see like no clear, well, that usually makes sense. What's in there? There's definitely some minotaurs. Okay, $29,000. Now, can I actually use custom units? Like, could I use my Egypt faction? No, they are. Okay, so you can't use, let's go ahead and reset everything. It's limiting me to early factions. So we've got to beat them, 29,000? I wanted to use Dynasty Watches. We could use some Air Force units. I definitely want ranged units, like a whole squadron of archers to fire arrows over our infantry with some catapults. 
Actually, we'll put the catapults spread out with tons of archers in the middle of them so that they don't block each other's range of fire. We have a very interesting uh, map to work with. We don't get as much formational area, at least in range. We'll be led by a king. Ooh, snake archers could be very, very good. I'm gonna have a lot of snake archers. That's gonna be my secret weapon. And then how about a, a unit of hoplites? Now, how do we kill Zeus? Pfft, we get... We hopefully just get lucky. Hopefully break their formation a little bit. All right. So we're going to have to go in slow motion, at least at the beginning. So some of the guys on the sides peel off. Ooh. Oh, I thought he was going to dodge that ballista bolt, but instead he's spittooned against the rock. Okay. I'm really going to be reliant on these snakes to distract and disrupt the enemy formations, right? The catapults are also doing a fantastic job. You see hoplites getting chucked everywhere. There's cheerleaders, though, that are going to be cheering on Zeus. Okay, so these are the battles that we can work with right now. Ooh, those ballistas, man. Dang, look at them just plow through my lines, taking anybody they hit along the way. But luckily, it seems that they're not super accurate. Oh, we did lose one of our catapults, though. Okay, if we if we go real time for a second, do we have a chance of taking down Zeus? Definitely, especially if we can defeat these uh, infantry lines, which it looks like my infantry definitely lost. Oh, no, here come the Minotaurs. This is going to be bad. <laughs> Look at this. I love it, man. See, this is the beauty of tabs. Incoming! Just the physics of it all. Oh. Oh, man, if that was just a few feet further into the right, they would have hit that giant formation. Okay. Oh, man, we lost another catapult. The ballistas are being cheerleaded. Zeus isn't even being cheerleaded. So now we have a machine gun ballista. You know what we could do, though? Hopefully the berserkers, let's see, do they jump over the lines? That is my hope. Okay, they're jumping over. If they could distract... Are they... What is happening to these two? Are you going to survive and kill Zeus? Probably not. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Okay, well, uh, did that work any better with the Berserkers? It doesn't look like it, man. Our front line just absolutely crumbled. And the cheerleaders just hang back with the ballistas. And the ballistas are just clearing house while the minotaurs are in my lines destroying me. Hmm. Catapults are doing friendly kills. This is a very, very challenging map. Okay. Well, back to the drawing board. We're going to have some mammoths charging in, followed by a few bone mages each. So massive disruption unit. Brawlers are pretty good fighters. Jarls with their ice could be cool, but we're running out of money and I need some ranged units. So we're going to get some archers here. All right. Does that work any better? The snakes did not appear to really be distracting much. Oh, one of the ballistas is already down, and it looks like he may have got hit by friendly fire, or that berserker may have taken him out. This one's turning around, and it's dead too! The berserkers took him out. So now we just gotta deal with Zeus. The mammoths definitely worked very, very well against these lines, so now all we have to do is get enough archer shots on Zeus, and I don't know if this is gonna work too well. Target Zeus! Oh, oh, is he, is he trapped? No, he's almost trapped. <laughs> and the Jarl wants to behead him. Come on, Jarl. Oh man, come on. Slap him. Yes! Zeus is down. We've won. We have achieved glorious victory against a very, very difficult and challenging map. So my advice to you guys, at least for the immediate future, is to create these custom maps and tag me if you want me to play them. But uh, don't use custom units just yet. There seems to be a little bit of an issue with it in most of my testing. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments and we'll fix it. But so anyway, guys, thank you for watching another episode of Totally Aggro Battle Simulator. Pull the trigger on the like button if you did enjoy the video. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.